Pleasure to see your work in person. Oh, Jesus. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Vicky. Come out and surrender! <laughs> Let him go! The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me. It's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Vicky. 
Nikki, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. We are nothing alike, Vicky. I fight to save lives. You're a cold-blooded killer. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than this one? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. Blaming other men to kill- is a symbol. Some fear it, but for others it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... you... you came. You came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save you... No! Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. Stop blaming other people for your problems. You aren't the only one who suffered. You really think you can preach to me? You? 
of our people? Enough!
As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Lady Arkham, Penguin, Harvey. They won't be the last to threaten Gotham. Likely not, but you'll be ready. In the meantime, let us hope for some peace. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen, but experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. Batman will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. We're currently awaiting newly appointed Acting Police Commissioner James Gordon, who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as Acting Police Commissioner, 
Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. Batman! Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? I wanted to show Gotham that I stand with its new commissioner. Uh, acting commissioner. But all the same, I appreciate it. City's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I stand behind you. You are the hero that Gotham needs, Commissioner. I hope I don't let them down. You won't. You know, I always wanted this. To be Commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this... I should probably be used to that by now. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. He told me I was the hero the city needs. Well, I intend to live up to that, but I can't do it alone. I need all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United, strong, and hopeful. Clear the area! Get that bastard to lock up! Just minutes ago, Acting Commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to top that. But I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Thank you.